Hey folks, Dr. White here. We're going to go over uh, how to get the balanced chemical equation from word equations. Uh, practice makes perfect with these. The more you see, the more you do, uh, the quicker you're going to understand. So let's go through uh, some of the answers for these uh, questions. Number one, zinc reacts with hydrogen chloride to form zinc chloride. Zinc, you should be able to look that up in the periodic table, Z-N. Um, let's go ahead and make that a little thicker. Hydrogen chloride. Well, you know, hydrogen is H. Chloride is Cl. All right. Okay. When I write these, I always like to double check that I'm uh, writing the, the right ratios down. So H is plus. Chloride is minus. Okay. The positive one offsets the minus one. The ratio of hydrogen to chloride is one to one okay so it's HCl that's gonna to react to form zinc chloride now remember that zinc is always uh, two plus chloride on the other hand is always minus one so what do you think the ratio is gonna be for the zinc chloride it's actually gonna be ZnCl2 okay And then uh, I like to erase the uh, charges just to make it look a little cleaner. So we got zinc chloride. These are together. So I'm going to rewrite these together. Okay. We got zinc chloride. Now, one thing that you might be wondering, what happened to the H? Uh, little mistake, little typo here. Um, this reaction actually forms hydrogen gas. Now, if it's hydrogen gas, you're going to write hydrogen down. But remember, hydrogen, the elemental state, is a diatomic. Whenever you see that gas, you should write it down as a diatomic. Now, last thing we have to do is balance it. OK, we got one zinc, one zinc, good. Two chlorines. We need a two right here. And the two H's and the two H's. So this thing is balanced. We are done with number one. OK, next one. Sodium oxide reacts with water. So let's write down sodium. Remember, sodium is plus one. Oxygen, oxygen is minus two. What do you think the ratio of sodium has to be to oxygen to get a neutral compound? We're going to need two sodiums per one oxygen. Okay. Na2O plus water. We should all know what water is dihydrogen monoxide. Two forms, sodium hydroxide. Well, Na, right? It's Na plus. Hydroxide is OH minus. Plus offsets the minus. It should be a ratio of one to one. We've got sodium hydroxide. Okay. Now let's make sure it's balanced. we got two H's, one H. We're going to need a two here. And two oxygens, two NAs here, two NAs here. It looks like we are done. Iron metal, Fe by itself. Remember, when a element is by itself, it never has a charge associated with it, OK? Iron metal reacts with water to form, we actually give this one to you, Fe3O4 plus hydrogen gas. Remember, that gas tips you off that you've got a diatomic here. Okay. Uh, last thing you need to do is to balance it. We got three Fe's. Let's put a three here. We've got four oxygens. Let's put a four here. And we've got eight hydrogens. Let's put a four there. We are done. Congratulations. Number four, aluminum bromide. Al. Remember, Al is it, when it's in a compound, it's positive three. It's with bromide, which is minus 1. That means that we've got to, we can actually do the crisscross method here, which is just another way of figuring out this. The 3 plus means that there should be a 3 down here, and the 1 means that there should be a 1 right here. It's just kind of a, kind of a quick and easy way of figuring out what the, uh, the formula is going to be and the ratios. Of course, it gets a little messy. Let's go ahead and just erase all that and write this down as 
ALBR3 reacts with chlorine gas. Cl, it's a gas, let's put it as a diatomic, to produce aluminum chloride. Okay, Al3 plus, Cl's minus, that means we're going to need three Cl's to offset that three plus charge in the aluminum. And liquid bromine. Bromine is another diatomic as well. Okay, uh, let's make sure these balance out. One Al, one Al, good. Three bromines, two bromines. Looks like we're going to need to do a little bit of uh, coefficient work here. Three bromines. Let's put a two there. So now we got six bromines on both sides. We need two aluminums, and then we've got six chlorines. Let's put a three here. We are balanced. Congratulations. Nitric acid, HNO3, reacts with barium hydroxide, Ba2+, with OH, you got to look that up in your polyatomic table, that's minus 1. So what do you think the ratio of the hydroxides needs to be to barium to have a neutral compound? We're going to need two hydroxides. Because it's a polyatomic, we've got to put the uh, parentheses around that. Plus, barium hydroxide to produce, that's an arrow, Barium nitrate, remember barium's two plus, nitrate's minus one, we're going to need two nitrates with the barium and we're going to do water. Okay, uh, just to make sure that we are all lined up here, we've got two nitrates on the left or on the right, we need two on the left uh, and we are balanced. Calcium sulfite, Ca sulfite, if you gotta, gotta look that up in your uh, polyatomic table, that's gonna be SO3 2 minus, Ca is 2 plus, ratio is 1 to 1 there, looks like we're good with the formula as written, okay? It decomposes when heated to form calcium oxide, Ca 2 plus, oxide is O2 minus, one to one ratio, we are good there as written. And it makes sulfur dioxide. Remember that di means that you've got two oxygens. Di means two. Okay, keeping, keep, oh, hold on, let's balance this thing. We've got uh, three oxygens, one S, and one calcium on either side, we are good. Iron reacts with sulfuric acid to form iron two sulfate. Okay, that two means that iron's got a positive two charge. Sulfate has a minus two charge. Those balance out, the formula is good as written. Hydrogen gas Remember we got H2, okay, and looks like we're all balanced there. Ammonia, NH3, burns in air. That means that you are generally going to react with oxygen. Oxygen is the reactive component in air. We're going to make nitrogen dioxide. Remember that di means two and water. Let's make sure it's balanced. Two O's, one end. Oh, it looks like we've got three H's on the left here. Let's go ahead and put a two here to even out the number. Let's put a three here. We got six H's. We're going to need a two here for the ends. And our oxygens look like they are, let's see, four oxygens. We've got seven oxygens total. Looks like we're going to have to put a seven over two here. Last one, last but not least, carbon disulfide, CS2. Remember that di means two for the sulfide. Burns in air. Air means oxygen to form carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Okay, let's make sure we're all... Uh, balanced out here. We got two, two S. We need a two here. That means we've got uh, four oxygens, six oxygens. Let's go ahead and put a three here to make our 
oxygen's even out. Okay, so these are how we uh, go from uh, word equations to chemical equations. Hopefully this was help you, helpful. Thanks a lot.